Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Addy Net and I've got my bestie. Listy, what up you guys? And we are out here in Reed's Crossing, right in the heart of Hillsboro. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the five reasons why people are choosing Hillsboro as their new home. So bear with us and let's get after it. Whoop, whoop. All right, we're gonna roll through the Reed's Crossing neighborhood here, do a little GoPro out the window so people can see the amazing options because yes. this is one of the most popular choices. <laughs> so Reed's Crossing definitely is probably the hottest neighborhood in Hillsboro. It's located in South Hillsboro. It is the largest planned community there is in the state of Oregon. It's going to be about a 12 year process. There are over 36 acres of trails and parks and green space that are built within this community. It's a maze balls. This is seriously one of those communities that there is something for everyone. They have single family homes, they have duplexes, they have condos, they have town homes. They even have rentals in the area, um, apartment rentals, but they also even have a care facility that they're currently building. So like a memory care retirement center, you know, that for like parents that wanna, you know, maybe live nearby that need a little assistance, you know, they can't live on their own anymore. So that's really, you know, nearby too. They have a huge commercial area being built right now. They've got Market of Choice as their anchor location, their anchor store. They've got Active Fitness. There is a Providence Medical Center there. It's got everything there. It does. They've got Shake Shack <clears throat> being built, Insomnia Coffee. There's gonna be a Jamba Juice. There's gonna be, you know, like, you know, spa places, places to get your nails done. I you would know. say too, this Hello. is a little gloomier. Um, we'll have some drone from sunnier days but yes usually it looks a little nicer than this but the homes are incredible they are great i this is one of my favorite communities i i can't help it it's super safe super safe it's cute like literally people out walking their dogs and kids playing and but I, I like it because you can also get some like one level homes. So again, if you are maybe retiring and you're not, you know, you don't need to be in a retirement facility or need assistance, like you could find a one level home here too, or a double story home. I mean, there's just so many options and they keep building and the parks are amazing that they're building. This is the brand new elementary school that just opened um, this year for 2023. It's right here in the middle of the community. But yeah, you can just walk to school, like ride your bike to school. It's it's fantastic. Yeah, I'd say, you know, the pro list is extremely long. Um, some of the feedback we get from people that come and check out this neighborhood is though it's impeccable, very well planned, it can be a little condensed on the lots. Uh, some people feel it's a little tight. Yes. A little next to your neighbor-ish, if you will. It is, it is. So Oregon, uh, Portland Metro has gotten rid of single family zoning, which means they are, you know, put nine houses on an acre. It's, it's pretty crazy um, how close some of these homes can get. Some obviously do have a little bit bigger yards than, you know, say the townhomes or the condos. But that is something to keep in mind. But that's why they've also built in over 36 acres of greenways and trails and park systems. So there's like, you know, the outdoor, the whole community itself is right there in your backyard for for all of the walking and bicycle riding and playing ball and everything you're doing in your backyard, you're just doing in the parks. Perfect for families, young families. Not necessarily the choice for someone that's like, hey, I want a half acre and I don't want to ever really talk to my neighbors. No, no, you're talking to your neighbors. You're, you're going to want to like your neighbors here. Yeah, these ones are yeah, cute right for here. for sure. So this particular community has multiple builders yes, to choose from. So it's not just one. This community um, right here in Reed's Crossing has four different builders. If you want to know who those builders are, you got to reach out. Call <laughs> me. We'll talk about them. <laughs> this is good. I like aesthetically how it, they're not cookie cutter. They're a little different. They can be a little cookie cutter, but... Aesthetically, they, they intermixed them, and that's kind of fun what they did with the builders is, you know, they have, like, one of the builders has two or three houses on this side, and then the next builder is next to them. You know mm -hmm, what I mean? So it's mm -hmm. constantly changing, so you have a little bit of a different look in it. And they've kind of intermixed the single-family home with, like, the duplex or, like, the townhomes. Obviously, the higher-end homes that have the bigger yards, they're kind of over in their own area, not with, like, a townhome next to them. See another phase happening right there. 
It just keeps going. It just keeps it just keeps going. And you can see the nets in a distance. That's the driving range, I think. It is. <laughs> it is. You know, Reed's Crossing kind of being, you know, it's in South Hillsboro. It's close to pretty much everything. Easy access to get to the highways. But as far as like employment, you have large employers like Nike and Intel nearby. So you do get, you know, a lot of professionals living in this area. You get a lot of young families living in this area. You get a lot of retirees, um, but it's so easy. So anyways, you are really close to large employers, which is kind of important. It's super important. We are just at Reed's Crossing. Literally a mile away is another community called Rosedale. Okay. And then another, you know, half mile up the street is, you know, Butternut Creek. So you have several new development areas, but Rosedale literally is kind of fun because parts of it back up to the reserve, which is a great golf course. Mm -hmm. Ask Addy. Addy is kind of a golf snob. He is really particular about where he will golf and not golf. And I think the reserve is, I mean, you're not really a golf snob, but you know what I mean? I am. You are it's one okay. to call out a bad course. And this is not a bad course. No, not at all. It's awesome. It's hosted like multiple professional events. It's got 36 holes. It's got a private side and a yes. public side. And Super people nice. love to have their home kind of along the golf course. Yeah. The unique thing about this community, which is only a mile away from the last community, Reed's Crossing, that we were at, is this one, the HOA does have a community center, a fitness center, a pool, you know, a really mm. cool area for its residents. Reed's Crossing does have like an active fitness center there, but it's a, like, it's not part of the HOA. So it's like a membership type thing that you would have to pay to, to go to. So that's okay. one of the things that Rosedale does offer that Reed's Crossing doesn't. And to be honest, the HOA fee is about the same. Very comparative. Um, this neighborhood too is also at one point host of the Street of Dreams. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like the best in the dreamy homes and top builders. Top builders. So there was a run of those. All the bells and whistles. Every year they pick a different location on where they're going to go and build. And this was one of the Street of Dreams. I want to, I don't even know the year. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to say <clears> it because I'm going to get it wrong. I'm going to have to Google that and tell you what year it was. Oh, here comes some of the. Yeah. This was the street. This was the Street of Dreams. Coming up. Street right up here. You yeah, you have to take a look at these where builders get to showcase, you know, their their craftsmanship <clears throat> and, and their talents and what they have. And this is the ones that are right up to that golf so course. So yeah, this is right on the golf course. Gorgeous. 2018 Home of Street of Dreams. There you go, there's the plaque. I was gonna say 2019. That's that so was a good guess. Yeah. Beautiful homes. you are a mile away from that market of choice being built all those restaurants um you know other fitness centers the medical centers spas all kinds of fun stuff so and it's kind of nice because these streets unlike some of the communities being built the streets are actually wide big wide streets right. you've got good <clears throat> sidewalks you've got you know the trees are, are naked right now because it's winter so they're kind of ugly but you do have these trees that are going to be you know you, you have them intermixed you have in the distance the mature trees you have these other trees that have been planted in the community Oregon's all about you know you cut a tree down you got to plant two more to make up for it but it's nice that they have these because it'll look really nice in the spring when they get a little bigger and fuller and they're not naked and yeah all right, we're out here. We're going to do a drive through of Orenco Station, which is one of the top areas out here. It's got all the spots, all the happenings, a tiny little strip of which has your retail, your restaurants, your coffee shop. They do an awesome farmer's market there in the summer. This has become super popular. 15 years ago, no one, nothing. No, nobody knew. Nothing. This was probably one of like the first urban suburban walkable neighborhoods that you found in the suburbs as far as going to, you know, the coffee shop or the farmer's market that was really walkable, like getting to these things. They've got the new seasons, so they've got great grocery. We're gonna come down here and yeah. kind of show you um, a little glimpse of the really fun shops. I like it because a lot of the shops are kind of locally owned, you know, so you get some really cute, fun mom and pop shops in here. Um, and and we're right next to Intel. That's right the biggest next. thing. So you are really close to three of the four Intel campuses. Um, I mean, some of them are like a three minute, you know, drive. 
you are close to the max line. So if you wanna, you know, if you're working in downtown Portland, you wanna take the max line, you're close to that. You have some really awesome condos here, townhomes. We are gonna take you to a single family home neighborhood nearby as well to kind of show you that. Um, yeah, you get live music in the parks in the summer, movies in the park in this area. But you get, um, again, you get retirees here um, living in the condo. They love how close the walkability and hospitals and services and stores are. You get a lot of young professionals in this area because of Intel jobs that are so close. You're close to work and then you've got the really cool, fun, you know, little bars and wineries and restaurants and things like that. Um, it's just all like right here outside your doorstep, which is kind of cool. Um, but then you also have the young families, you know, for the schools and the parks. Hillsborough is one of those places where there's something for everybody. Yeah, 100%. Hey guys, this is one of the cute little um, Aranco Station neighborhoods right off of the main drag. Up here, there's a cute little park called Central Park that all of these homes surround. Another little running area for the kids or families, picnics. Just take the dog out for a walk. I wanted to kind of show you what was nearby that was not a condo um, living above those storefronts. You got some Tudor houses and bungalows and mixed in with little craftsmen's and traditionals. So a little mixed residential in here as far as aesthetics go. I like that. Again, very walkable. Here's some um, almost like at the end, you've got these little townhome condos and they're almost like a brownstone. I guess is what you would call it. Um, maybe if you are back east, so could call those brownstones. Central Park. Now you can see the these little cute, charming. It is houses. cute. Great spot. You can take the doggies out, let the kids run around. Well, Loosen up the legs. Got the little neighborhood ladies out for a stroll over yeah, there. Yeah, I wonder what they're doing. Uh, gardening tips. The bridge Winter group. Gardening <laughs> tips. A little gazebo down here. Again, Central Park and Aranco Station. Toss a football, kick a soccer ball, water balloon fights, Nerf gun fights in that little field. That'd be fun, right? Okay. Aranco Station. All right, Listy, we are where right now? This is a special place you wanted to make sure that we hit because we actually have this on our hotspot. It is. We are actually in the uh, Jackson School neighborhood. This area is huge. There's like, I don't even know, but you know when you have like an HOA or, you know, different plat maps, there is like Jackson School neighborhood number one, number two, number three. There's like nine of them. So this is just one of the many. This is an older neighborhood. You're going to get homes kind of 80s, 90s. Um, you will have some areas that might have earlier 2000s, but kind of the nice thing about this, these are the homes, big wide streets, huge mature trees, not the new construction that's sitting on top of each other. Mm -hmm. um, you have big yards, um, big fence yards, bigger lots. You know, you're going to have room to, you know, maybe put uh, a boat behind one of your fences. Um, if the HOA will allow it, you'd have to check your local CCNRs. But, you know, you have additional room for, you know, parking where some of the newer communities don't have that. So this is one of my favorite neighborhoods for that. You know, you're going to find a lot of families in this area. The schools um, in this area are desired in the Hillsboro area. But you have these big streets where you have lots of kids that are, you know, riding their bikes and they're having their water balloon, you know, wars in the summertime and chasing each other with the, you know, water guns and things like that. It's just good family fun. Good American fun. It is. It is. But you also can find some one level ranches in this area as well as like larger way. big homes that are two stories and some even three stories. So you do get some retirees in this area as well as some, you know, families, some empty nesters as well. You get a little bit of everybody in this area. It's not as walkable. Yes, it's flat. People are walking around, you know, you're going to have parks and trails nearby, but you're not like walking to your coffee shop like in some of the other areas that we showed you, which people tend to like that kind of fun urban feel, you know? Um, but sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes you don't want to walk to the coffee shop. Sometimes you're okay just taking a five minute, you know, drive down the road. I live in a 1970s neighborhood and I love it. I love getting in my car and having my little coffee time with my heat seater on and just going and getting my coffee, having that time 
That's your you time. It's my you time. I love that. I have no problem. I don't want to walk and go get my coffee. It, there's just something about And this is the school up here, right? Yep. This is one of the uh, schools. Jackson Middle School. Oh, I'm on the wrong Hi. side of this one. Here. But uh, I know I'm still getting oh, it. It's Jackson Elementary School. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, these are nice. Yeah. For people that put a premium on wanting a larger lot... And that one level, people say that a lot. Yep. You're this really be close to um, Costco over in this area as well. Um, again, you're so close to these Intel campuses. Um, there's one that's like five minutes from here. So you do get a lot of family employees of Intel working in this area. Um, you also have the Hillsboro Airport. Did I already go down the street? We have the Hillsboro mm -hmm. Airport. That's not like a public real airport that you're flying into, but right. it's kind of fun. They have like, that's where Nike puts their private jet. And oh my gosh, it's pretty incredible there. It's mostly like flight schools and it stuff, It is flight right? schools, flight helicopters, schools and private, you know, that's where PJs. like, when like Michael Jordan, you know, comes to Nike, you know, he flies in, you know, to the, the Hillsboro Airport. Um, Wouldn't it be nice? I know, right? Wouldn't it be nice? It would be good. We actually helped a client uh, relocate um, from California, and he was actually a private jet pilot. I was going to say, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say driver. Private <laughs> pilot. That is kind of a tongue twister. And it was so, yeah. A PP he would, for a PJ. Yeah, he would, <laughs> 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 he would fly into the Hillsboro Airport, um, you know, with private clients that hire him. And it was pretty incredible to hear some of the stories of the people coming in and out of that area. Yeah. And I will say back on, you know, where we talked about some of the top five, you know, best reasons to live in this area of Hillsboro was because of like the entertainment. I want to go the other way. So we're going to go around this loop de loop and go that way. Sorry, I got excited and I took a wrong turn. Um, is they have the uh, air show here every summer. It's amazing, you guys. Blue Angels. So yeah, it's like a three day event. Um, super fun. Kids love it. Families. Everybody loves it. Like a good air show. You could literally live out on the west side here and never need to go into Portland. Yeah, you really you know. You have plenty of stuff here, right? Well, Jackson Schoolhouse, the old community center. Um, so there, yeah, there is one of the things, a little fun fact that a lot of people don't know about um, Hillsboro is that is where you were going to find Roloff Farms. Also, pull that up on the map. Well, uh, Little People Big World uh, TV show on TLC, the Roloff family and their amazing pumpkin patch. Uh, we love to always go out there and visit, but then we have to stop out on Helvetia uh, Tavern, which has the best burgers in Oregon. I'm not going to lie. You might disagree with me, but you'll, you'll have to try it to see. But they have this jumbo burger. It's so good. And that's what my family does is we go to the pumpkin patch, go to the Christmas tree farms out there, and then you got to stop for a burger afterwards. Um, it's like a little reward. Like after you find your pumpkin or your tree, you go to the tavern. You've been there. Have you been to Hell Nation Tavern? Yeah. No? I've never been. You've never been. We're going. We're I've going. It is so good. Do you love just a good old greasy, you yummy, know I love white trash cheeseburger that's just, you know, I love it. Like a hole in the wall type place. They have yeah. the best. This is not as cute of a neighborhood. This one is over here. <laughs> Look at that cute little cottage. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna pee my pants. Oh, do I need to stop? No, just oh. the that turn. The turn worried me. <laughs> We're good though. Yeah, yeah. So what's happening in Hillsboro? Can we talk about like the culture as far as like the art? They have a lot of theater, they have a lot of art museums, they also have I mean, back to entertainment things to do. They have the Rice Northwest uh, Rock and Mineral Museum, which is kind of a big deal. If you've got, you know, an interest in rocks and minerals, they have like one of the largest museums here. It's actually really sad. It just got broken into. They stole like some, I don't even know. I'm pulling this out of my hiney at the moment, but they stole like some like 200 year old rock in the museum or something. I gotta look to oh, see. I think I saw that on the news. Yeah, it was on the news. It was a big deal. It was like this old, this old rocks. 
Yeah. So um, nearby here is one of my other favorite parks, Rude Bridge Park. Okay, this is the last segment of our Hillsboro tour. Listy wanted to make sure we saw and stopped at this park. Where this are we is, at? Again, one of my favorite parks. This is Rude Bridge Park, you guys. It's huge. I don't even know how big it is. It's Is acres. it close to Polite Bridge? Polite. You get it? Uh -huh. Rude. That was like a funny I dad threw it joke. Up. Sorry. <laughs> Keep going. You've got, you know, little um, streams throughout this community. You have ballpark fields, open fields, picnic shelters. You have like this little house up here that you can rent for like weddings of and receptions. Parties, birthday parties. Birthday parties. I'm not gonna lie, all of my kids' baby photos were done. His growing up photos were done in this park. My older son, who's graduated high school, had his senior portraits here, which is done by my favorite photographer who also lives in Hillsboro, Danielle Rogers. She's shout amazing. Out. Big shout out. She also owns a little company called uh it's a photo she does family photos but she does one for dogs she has dog books so she mm. actually specializes in dog photos which is huge here in the portland area because people are all about you know the fur babies anyways you get so many families coming out here to rent the picnic shelters and to do the little um rentals for like birthday parties and things on the stuff. indoor like wedding receptions things like that miles of trails um you come down here run just ride your bike, have a stuff. huge winter storm here last week oh yeah it's foggy. um huge and so i'm saying this for the reason the trail that we're on is actually flooded <laughs> we'll have to show you we're coming up so there. we're coming up to it and i'm like oh Beep. normally you can walk through all this stuff so that's why we're showing it's because yeah, the activities yeah but you have you know the um bird watching here You've got the tennis courts here. It's fun. It's and fun. And you just It actually sits within the neighborhood. Across the street is Singing Woods, a really great neighborhood. Um, lots of families, retirees, but there are big, like, single family homes on big lots, big fenced yards. Um, this is crazy oh to me. I'm a little off guard. Yeah, we're thrown off here because we didn't off. know this was actually flooding. It's we like just had a week of. An, flooded. Uh, light snow and ice this storm, but look at that. People do kayak. They do, well, you have like a little launching area <laughs> wow. over here as well for the 12 tour I believe, over here off of the other side. Um, oh, this is not encouraging on any of This is not the actually homes, where it says water launch, water launch craft. This, this is not part. where you do it. That's on a different parking lot over the way. This is so insane to me. It's totally thrown me off. All right, folks, so if you're thinking about moving to the Portland area or Southwest Washington, you gotta give us a call. This is what we do, the number one relocation team in the Portland area. We Guys, it's been a half a decade of cranking out this content for you. We are so used to your storyline and we wanna hear your specific details on your journey to moving here, so you gotta give us a call. Send us text. Give us an email, whatever it takes. We want to get to know you and assist you in your journey. So reach out to us and thanks so much for watching. And we got your back when we moving to the Portland Northwest. Right. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you hit that bell right there on your screen. That's right, you have to tap the little bell so that way you're notified every time we put out a new video. We love making these for you. So we want to make sure that you're notified as soon as they come out. Yeah, do it. Subscribe. Thank you. <laughs>